Okay friends, welcome to our Pace YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make the color orange using tempera paint and then we're going to paint this fish. I left a link um, for you to download the picture and paint along with me. So when you're ready, let's get started. So when you're making the color orange, you need two primary colors, yellow and red. Now what I mean by primary colors is that no color can be mixed to make yellow or red, but you can mix these colors together to make another color. In this case, we're making orange, which is a secondary color. So I have red and yellow paint, I have water for mixing, and then I have paint brushes, I have this, I guess you call it a spatula for mixing, and then I have color pencils because I like to go over my art with color pencils when I'm done. So to make orange, You need equal red and yellow. So I'm gonna start with five drops red and five drops yellow, and then I'm going to mix it together. One, two, three, four, five. Five drops red. Now I'm going to try five drops of yellow. One, two, three, four, five. I'm looking for my paper towel for cleanup. I seem to have forgotten to bring it with me, but I will use that later. So I have five drops of red and five drops of yellow. Now I'm going to use this little spatula to mix it together. So I have more of a, I have a very deep orange, but I want to make it more yellow than red. So I want to make like a yellow orange color for my goldfish. So if I want to make a yellow orange color, I'm going to mix more yellow than I did red. So I'm going to do an extra three drops. One, two, three, an extra three drops of yellow and I'm going to mix it in. And I'm going to smear it here so that you can see what it looks like. So that is the color that I'm going to use for my goldfish. Now for this, I can't find my lucky paintbrush, so I'm using this one instead. I would prefer to have my lucky paintbrush, but I can't find it. So now, I'm going to paint my goldfish. Now the picture that I have that you're downloading, I put it on a cardboard paper I put it on a piece of cardboard so that it can stick because if you just put the paper on top of the um, easel, it's not going to stay very well. So you need something uh, to back it up. So I use the cardboard. And then I'm going to paint. My goldfish. Can you paint with me? You're going to cover the whole part of his belly. Orange. 
And then I'm going to cover the top of him orange too. And then I'm going to fill it in. And I'm going to paint as nice as I can. until it's all filled up. And I dip it in my water just to make sure that the brush is not too dry. Now when you're painting on the paper that you're downloaded, be very careful not to make the paper too wet or it's going to rip. That's what happens when you paint on paper because it's too thin. So be very careful. There, so I finished painting the body of my goldfish. Now I'm going to do the fins. Now these are the top fins. So I'm going to go like this to paint the top fins. And then I'm going to keep dipping my brush in the paint to paint the top fins. Now every goldfish looks different. So your goldfish may not look like mine. Because if you have goldfish, you know that there are differences in each goldfish. So now I'm going to do the fins here. Lastly, I'm going to do the back fins. to do here. There's some pieces sticking out here that I noticed, so I'm going to paint it like that. Next, I'm going to paint the head of this fish. I'm not going to paint his eye just yet. I'll paint that later. I'm going to make a circle around the eye so I don't 
paint it too much. I know I got a little bit of the orange in the eye, but that is okay. And then I'm going to finish painting my fish's head. Okay, so I'm going to add some yellow right here on this side of my palette because I want to do something a little interesting with his fins. I want to add more yellow to his fins. So I'm going to wipe this off. Usually I will dip it or wipe it on my paper towel to dry it, but I forgot my paper towel. So I'm just going to try to squeeze it off on my palette and I'm going to take up some yellow and then I'm going to go in his fins like that. Then I'm going to go here. Then I'm going to go here. And do the same thing. Like I said, every goldfish is different. So it could be that your goldfish looks different from mine. But that's okay. to bring some of the yellow here. Then I'm gonna bring some more yellow down here. Like so. Now a goldfish eye, the goldfish eyes are usually yellow. So I'm going to put yellow around this goldfish's eye. Like so. Now, I wait until it dries. Once it is dry, then I will add some more details to my goldfish. But for those of you who are ages three to five, I think you are finished because your goldfish should have all the colors that you need on there. But if you want a little bit more of a challenge, then you can join me for the next step of making details with color pencils. So I'm going to wait till this dries and then I am going to finish drawing in the details with color pencil. Welcome back friends. Now we're going to continue painting the fish or I say we painted it already. Now we're going to use color pencils to make some details. So I have yellow, I have black, and I have dark umber, but you can also use um, dark brown. I can, I'm going to put this over there because I think I'm 
done with this. Now, um, I added this little piece here. I just painted a little orange right there because I didn't like the white space. So, now I'm going to take the color pencil, brown one, and I am going to make some detail in the fin. So, because there's a picture underneath this and you can see it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to detail it like that. So I'm going to bring out the dark colors with the brown and the fish. Then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do the same. Oh my, the easel is falling off the table. And for that, I'm going to do the same. I'm just using my dark brown, or in this case, dark umber, and I'm going to Kind of make the fish give it a nice outline. Now, this is something you don't have to do, but if you want to, you can just go over the little dark areas that you see in the picture with the color pencil. To make the fish kind of come to life, if that makes sense. So I'm not going to go over everything, but just some of the little dark areas that I see on the fish. This is something that is kind of hard to do with a uh, paintbrush, so that's why I am doing it with a color pencil. So any dark area that I see, my easel is falling off the table again, any dark area that I see, I am just going to kind of go over it with the color pencil. And they kind of look like little diamonds right here. Like I said, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. If you're just happy with just having it just being the orange and yellow, then that is fine. This is your picture and you can do whatever you like. So, in here, the eye part. Make that a little darker. This is where his head is. So, all this does is make it look more like a real fish. And 
and I will use my black to kind of give like what is if this is called accent marks and I'll just do it at different places I'll do it on the tips of the of the fins. And I'm going to go along the gills and make it here a little darker. And then I'm going to darken the eye because I kind of painted yellow over the eye. So I'm going to darken that so that you can see his eye better. Alright, so I am basically finished with my goldfish. So what we learned today is how to make orange making primary. We learned how to make orange using primary colors, red and yellow. And we made a secondary color, which is orange. And we painted the goldfish with orange and then we made its fins yellow we painted its eyes yellow and then we use color pencils to make the details to make it look more like a real fish <laughs>